What's good? It's your boy Lionheart, and I'm back. Today, I'm talking about Captain America. I was extremely lucky to get invited by the Marvel Gods to the screening of Captain America Winter Soldier that took place yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate this. This was a very good, this was a super duper hot ticket yesterday. Everybody wanted to come to this event and I was one of those lucky few people that got invited and was just delighted to watch the film. I was going to go straight in and talk about the film. The film, I can say from beginning, inconceivably better than Captain America 1 and better than the Avengers movie. Yeah, I said it. It's better than the Avengers movie. Three. There's actually no comparison between Captain America 1, Avengers and Captain America 2. This film is leaps and bounds better than those two films. Captain America 2 Winter Soldier is a spy movie, a thriller, an action movie, a political drama in some aspects, a superhero movie, an action movie, a gunfight film, like a war film, a martial arts film, an action film. It spun so many plates and did so many things but it did all of them well. It didn't do one thing badly. I can actually give it a 10 out of 10 in every single category. It was actually a character driven movie as well. It was actually character driven. Because every single character, Alexander Pierce, Nick Fury, Captain Steve Rogers, Bucky, the Falcon, everybody was fantastic. Every single character, there was not one character that you didn't like in the whole film. They gave every character the spotlight and showed them why they were important. Their backstory, their current story, who they are, why they're here, what they represent and what they bring to the table. And they did all of this inside of like two hours. Was two hours? Okay, it doesn't say how long the film was. But the film was about maybe two hours or something like that. The one thing I will say about this film, as you can see, the film was in 3D, right? The film did not need to be in 3D. I'm done. If I could say anything bad about the film, it's that. Because the film was perfect. There was no flaw in that entire film. Nick Fury is the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. So imagine how much power he's got, right? He has a car. I'm done. That car, I was... My mind was just... Exploding. When I saw... When you, when you see what his car does... You won't believe it. You won't believe it. That was, it was amazing. I'm done. This movie does a brilliant job of basically grabbing you by the scruff of your neck and dragging you from the beginning all the way to the end. It didn't feel too long, it didn't feel too short, it was perfect. The film had a beginning, a middle and an end. Everything that was highlighted, every question that they posed was answered well. It wrapped up correctly. This film is actually a masterclass in what a Marvel superhero film should be and could be from now on. This film has actually set the bar a little too high but it's good because it's going to make them step up their game in every single film. They cannot be lazy from now on. So if you're going to make a film this incredible. I went to this film not expect it to be that good. I'm a fan of the comic books. I've read Civil War, read Captain America, Steve Rogers, Super Soldier and I've read The Winter Soldier. I knew what to expect but I didn't think they would do it that well but I kind of felt like they were forgetting about the uh, Marvel films needing to be about the Marvel superhero character because the acts they're getting are so good. In this film is a return to form because they highlighted the acting and the characters, the particular specific character. Chris Evans' performance as Steve Rogers was incredible. The Winter Soldier would have stole the show if Captain America had not been such a good character. His character was absolutely amazing. You actually liked the character a lot. You felt like this was a man out of his timeline. 
that this is a man that is loved and adored by millions of people but he's still on his own he belongs to nobody and he technically fights for nobody he doesn't know what he's fighting for because the establishment that exists now he doesn't believe in it because he's there for the people but the government is representing the people the government is representing itself it's representing the few elitists that is on its level so he doesn't know if he's, who, what he's fighting for, who he's fighting for. He fights for the idea that he fights for the government, that fights for the people. But he knows the underlying issue is the government doesn't really serve the people. So he doesn't know what to do. And you feel a man that is lost, that has lost his family, that has lost his initial reason to fight. He's lost and you feel that, you feel that vulnerability. And that makes the character so fantastic, as well as him being just boss like fighting story action the way he comes across in the movie you feel that so if it wasn't for him the character being so incredible bucky would have stolen the show the winter soldier because his character was militant ruthless relentless he was like nemesis from resident evil 3 you turn around he's right there coming after you that dude's like the Terminator. He was actually intimidating and threatening. The film was just ridiculous. Winter Soldier was just a ridiculous film. It's just too good. I just could not believe how good. I was watching the film and as I was watching it, I actually could not believe how good the film was. I'm like, I can't believe I'm watching. What am I watching right now? You know, they mention Doctor Strange in there. They mention all sorts of characters. Oh, I almost said something. The film is so good, the film's got two secret endings. Nick Fury as well, Samuel Jackson, he makes that character his. He doesn't just come out and say like a godlike line that just blows your socks off now with these magical one-liners. He's there to stay. He comes in, puts his character across. You actually see his character in the short time he's got. You understand the character. You see who is Nick Fury. What is he fighting for? Why is he as ruthless as he is? It's so well crafted. The story is so wonderfully put together. It's just ridiculous. As you're watching a film, you will not believe what you're watching because you can't believe. If you're looking for a flaw, there is none. As I said, the film is an action film, a thriller, a spy movie, a character-driven movie, a political drama, an espionage movie, and it does all of these aspects well. I've never seen anything like it before. It's easily the best Marvel film to date. Loki, Winter Soldier, best villains ever. In this film it seems like they've realised that a protagonist is only as good as his antagonist and an protagonist is only as good as his co-stars and his rival. The main antagonist, Alexander Pierce. The main rival, the Winter Soldier. The co-stars, the Falcon, the Black Widow. Incredible cast, acting, character driven, absolutely magic on film, you will not believe how good this film is. And there's a lot of political issues in this film, but it doesn't bombard you with bureaucracy and conspiracy theories. It doesn't force it down your throat. It gives you these perspectives and challenges you to answer the question, or at least challenge the idea, because a lot of the things that happen in that film relate to what's going on in our era right now today with the abuse of our civil liberties and our privacy and it challenges the one idea what are you prepared to do to protect your liberty to protect your freedom to protect your civil rights what are you prepared to do to protect those are you prepared to sacrifice if so what are you prepared to sacrifice it challenges all those notions the government is in power and they start to abuse that power when they're set to protect you and they abuse that power with the whole worldwide surveillance cost of privacy and civil liberty when they abuse that when is it too far are the good guys really good guys when they're put in power to protect us good and bad is not a matter of opinion it's a matter of perspective so if their perspective is what they're doing is for the greater good but for you it's not the greater good who's right who's wrong this film challenges the idea marvelously but it doesn't bombard you with it or annoy you there's not one point in this film where you'll get bored you just completely engaged and enthralled and fascinated by what you're seeing mentally and visually 
it's just absolutely dazzling what they did in this film. Like, I have to give them a round of applause. This film has set the bar high. Now it's up to Marvel to see if they can keep up that level. Because this film is the best Marvel film I've ever seen. Easily the best. Not just because of the actual superhero abilities, because the film is actually very grounded. But it's also incredible, exciting, captures your imagination, yet fantastic enough to make you believe it all. It is so well done. I have to say Marvel, you've done an incredible job. Well done. The way they made the Captain America character relatable, understanding, you were endeared to him. Every character got the spotlight. The performance of every character, the fight scenes, like you saw GSP, George St. Pierre, UFC fighter, champion. He did all his UFC moves. You saw him do the Superman punch. You saw him doing all his trademark kicks. Like it was proper George St. Pierre. You weren't some Coco Bean bad guy that said two or three one-liners and got uppercutted like Team Rocket blasted off into, into space without a trace. It was a proper villain like GSP was a proper villain legit legit every single aspect of this film met the criteria of my high expectations for a um, superhero movie by far the best superhero Marvel movie I've seen to date the performance of every single character stellar absolutely incredible when you see Captain America fight with his shield unbelievable unbelievable that shield is like an extension of himself like the things he does with that shield will just have your jaw on the ground it's so magnificent I've, I'm, I'm out of words I'm out of words to describe this film and say how good this film is because the film was pure magic the only thing I could say it's a film you have to watch. It is a must see for every movie goer. Not even for a superhero um, um, fan or action film. For every single type of fan. You know, as I said, Black Widow, The Falcon, Alexander Pierce, The Winter Soldier, Nick Fury, Steve Rogers. Every single character was important. So I recommend you go watch this film, enjoy the film. You know, as I said, I'm just like you guys. I'm just an ordinary guy. With extraordinary luck, you know. I don't know why Marvel sent me the invite. Maybe it's because maybe they my interaction with you guys, you know, like for my YouTube channel. Because my original YouTube channel, I had like over three million views and stuff like that. But you know, the IP content got me, so like YouTube got shut down, so I had to start again. You know, lost all my thousands of subscribers. So maybe that they from that era, they still are sending me invites so I'm going to represent you guys that's why I'm gonna call it down the line if it's bullshit I'm gonna say it's bullshit if it's good I'm gonna say it's good and I'm gonna say it from the perspective of a fan you know what I said because I'm here I'm here for you guys I'm here to represent you if I, they're going to invite me and I have to be the figurehead for the community then I will be and I'll do well for you guys and I'll present and I'll say how it is I'll put the voice out there so as I said an ordinary guy like you Please, I'd love to hear your views. If you have anything to say when you watch the film or any question you have to ask me, I won't say any spoilers. If you ask me a question, I'll private message you and tell you something. But other than that, I, I don't really want to put anything out there that will spoil the story for everybody. Because as I said, you know, I got lucky. I watched it really early. Like, I watched it the 20th. The day was the 20th, the day was the 20th that I watched it. Is the day on it? Yeah, it's right there. So that's when I watched it. So there's still a few days left for the film to come out all over the place. That's the reason I'm saying it like this. I'm doing the review like this. I don't want to ruin it end for anyone. So my verdict, the film was godlike. It's a godlike movie. And I personally give it a 10 out of 10. Free. 10 out of 10. Godlike movie. Godlike movie. I hope everyone goes and watches it and enjoys it. And when you do watch it, come back here talk to me let me hear what you've got to say about it because everybody's got different perspectives maybe you understand something i didn't understand because as i said to you the film was incredible there was a lot of shout outs you saw heard iron man you heard they talked about doctor strange they spoke about so many different characters in that film so i'd love to hear from you guys so to my next video be happy and stay cool Eons ago I was ordained with the powers cosmic The invincible invader, no one can stop it 
I'm putting your planet on curfew Excellent to rest when you write on my rhymes in the form of crop circles Discovered in the Arctic cold Laboratories explode for trying to clone my genetic code I'm a nightmare to all you cowards Arachnids bite me, entertain radioactive superpowers Striking devils with God's hand 